Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney and today I'm just going to be hennaing my hair and I have some things to tell you. So I'm just going to just jump right into this. So tomorrow I'm going to style con. So I just wanted to touch up my hair. So I wanted to come on here and do my henna um, while chatting with you guys, but I was like, I don't really know what to chat about. But now I do. I had a weird situation happen to me yesterday and I guess I'll just start from the beginning. I'm gonna section this off. So the other day I uploaded a video um, about crystals and originally in that video I was showing you a bunch of my crystals and that didn't end up happening because a few of them had gone missing. And lately I've been losing everything, that's the thing. Things have been going missing left and right and my mom is like making fun of me. She's like, I've never seen someone lose so many things and it's getting really bad. But I lost this one crystal, but it's like a little stand, like a crystal tower, like this big. And it's a fluorite, it's green, and it's, I was gonna include it in the video. But a crystal tower like that is not something I would carry around with me. If I wanted to carry a crystal with me, it would be like a little tumbled stone or something. And this crystal was missing. I always keep it on my dresser. Um, and if it weren't on my dresser, I would imagine it to be on that or on like one of my other drawer sets, you know, like displayed somewhere. It's not something that I take with me anywhere. So I knew it was on my dresser and I <laughs> looked and looked and looked for like an hour for this one crystal because I thought I was going crazy. I was like, I know this thing is literally in plain sight. It's gotta be right on my dresser. Look behind the dresser. I looked on top of the dresser and all of the little compartments that I have, it was nowhere to be found. So I filmed the video, upload it and everything, and I find the crystal. It's right on my dresser, right where I looked, sitting right there. <sighs> and I freaked out. I went and showed my mom. I was like, look, it was right there the whole time. I'm freaking out. I think something is like stealing all my stuff <laughs> and I'm starting to believe that. So the day after I find that crystal, that night my dog was laying on the floor as my mom and I were like just sitting on the couch watching TV and I noticed him staring up at the ceiling like in the corner of the ceiling and this has happened once before and it was really freaky. He stands up and starts growling like he's being threatened like like protective growl which he doesn't do he doesn't growl he barks but he doesn't growl and he was growling and it was at the corner in the ceiling and there was like nothing there was nothing there and he started barking staring up at it the hair was standing up on his back and i took a video i didn't get like his initial growl but i did get him growling at it and from that moment he didn't lay back down he stood by the stairs like he wanted to go to bed he was waiting for us to go to bed he never sat back down and it was really kind of sad like he was really scared I took a picture when he was doing this of the ceiling. In the first picture I took, there was an orb. In the rest of the pictures, there weren't. So I don't know if you'd like believe me, but there was an orb. I don't know what to make of it. It was there. So that was weird. So after filming videos, I learned to immediately clean up because I make such a mess when I'm filming. So I put all the crystals 
onto my TV stand right there. And I just dumped them out. It was like a total mess. Um, freaks me out. It was a total mess. And that was it. I left it like that because I'm a messy person, I guess. And oh my God. Okay, so I go to school. I'm there all day until like 10 p.m. I get home, I'm ready to just go to bed. And I come in front of this mirror um, that I'm sitting in front of right now. And I have a weird feeling. Like lately I've been having these weird feelings like someone's watching me or I don't know, that I'm like not alone. And I get that feeling a lot in front of mirrors. A lot of people say that mirrors are portals, which I do believe because I've always had like a fear of them. And the one time I saw the ghost, she was standing in front of a mirror. I was standing in front of the mirror and I was putting on my eyelash serum to make my lashes grow. And the mirror started to shake a little bit. And I was standing pretty far back because I remember I was really scared like someone was gonna pop up behind me in the mirror. So I was standing pretty far back and the mirror just started like vibrating a little bit as if my dog had like, he like touches it with his nose sometimes and it shakes. It looked like that happened, but my dog was laying on my bed. Okay, so I was looking in the mirror and it was shaking. I kind of just, you know, whatever. I was like, it could be anything, I guess. Didn't think of much of it, but then I saw from in the mirror, I saw a spider go from here to here, from one beam to the other, and I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, I gotta kill this. So I turned around and I go grab a shoe, I go to kill the spider, and I kill the spider. I like wipe away its guts, and I look down at the TV stand, and my crystals are all organized. And it was really weird, because like I said, I know that they were um, a mess. They were like completely disarray. Like I just dumped them there. It's not like I sat there and like made them look pretty. A few of the crystals, I don't know, 10 crystals were lined up in rows. There were two rows of crystals and then two that were turned outwards at the bottom. I'll insert it here. But I was, I was looking at it and I was like, what the frick is this? Be because I live with my mom, that's it. Just me and her, she doesn't touch my stuff. And if she did, she wouldn't sit there and put 12 of the crystals in a nice pretty row. Like that's not what she would do. I immediately knew she didn't do it. I knew I didn't do it and it was freaky. I took pictures, I Instagrammed it, I was asking everyone what the hell is going on. And I was like, okay, that's that's really weird. I was definitely a little freaked out. Um, I wasn't necessarily scared at that moment, but I felt like I was being watched or like I wasn't alone. Like I said, when I was putting my stuff on my eyes, like I felt like someone was watching me and then that happened. So I was laying in bed, the lights were off. My dog was with me, thank God. I was talking with people on Instagram, like what's going on? And I'm a little scared. And I turned the light back on because again, I said I felt like I was being watched. So I turned the light on. I was sitting there and I had like a bunch of plastic bags like full of garbage um, on the other side of my bed by the laundry room. And one of the bags, like this, was just sitting there, like, like this. The bag moved and it went like, like something had kind of tugged on it. Oh my God, I freaked out. I Instagrammed it. <laughs> my dog looked at it, he was like, and he looked at me and I looked at him and I was like, I'm out of here. I grabbed all my stuff and ran upstairs with my dog into the guest room. Um, thank God he slept with me because I was really scared. And when I got up there, my phone calculator was open and it said 114.
which is my birthday, my lucky number, my like spirit number. I see it all the time on every clock. It's it's 441. <sighs> my life. What is my life? I just see that number all the time. So the fact that that number was on my calculator, like right when I got upstairs, I don't know. It was really weird. Um, and I was just, I was really scared because the bag moved. And before the bag moved, it was like, okay, a spirit was in my bedroom at one point today and moved my crystals. But when the bag moved, that spirit is there with me right now. And that was terrifying. I was like, I am not alone. So I left. I texted my mom because I didn't want her to think I like disappeared out of thin air. I was like, hey, I'm in the guest room. Um, long story, haha. <laughs> so when I woke up, I asked her, I said, did you move my crystals? And she said, no, like, I don't know what you're talking about. I promise I didn't move your crystals. Did you touch my crystals? No. You didn't touch my crystals? No. <laughs> I promise. I promise you didn't touch your crystals. Oh, what the They both like looked at each other, me and Sam, and I was like, I'm out of here. And then I came up here and I was <laughs> so freaked out. You wanna go see the crystals? Yeah, come on. I brought her downstairs and showed her. I think I have footage of it. Come on, let's go. Let's sit down here. These ones are like tapered out. And you didn't put them like that. I didn't. You swear. I swear on my life. Mm. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. Cause it's like rose. Why don't you move them and see if they get moved? No. Why? Cause I thought it was nice. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute that the heart's involved. <laughs> it makes it not so scary. Mm -hmm. Annie, are you here visiting? <laughs> and then the bags moved and then I'm like, I'm out of here. What bags? Uh, it was like, this went like. Really? I mean, and Sam was like. Really? Yeah. And if I didn't hear that, I would have slept in the bed. But I was scared. Mm. Sam, what's going on? What do you here? think? Someone saying hello. Mm -hmm. The spider was like, it went from there to there, and I saw it in the mirror. Um, she was a little. She was like, "That's that's weird." And she told me, "I don't know if I would have believed you if Sam hadn't have been growling at nothing." The other day. I want you to, guys to let me know what you think of that. It's definitely weird. Um, I personally think that it wasn't a evil spirit or anything. Like, it wasn't anything bad because the way that the crystals were laid out, one of my little hearts was one of the stones that were tapered out. And I feel like that Whatever did that could have put any stone there, but the fact that the heart was there was really kind of cute <laughs> in a way. I looked at the stones and I was kind of analyzing them. And one of the stones in the middle is um, tourmaline and that's a stone of protection. It, it absorbs negative energy and negative entities. It's like very protective and it's very powerful protective stone and it was right in the middle and i feel like if it was an evil spirit it would not have one messed with my crystals and two it wouldn't have put that one in the center like i don't know i feel like it was a very kind energy telling me that they're like around and protecting me i guess because i did go to a medium fairly recently it was a lot of like my family members that came through that they're around and like that they'd be coming through in dreams soon but i want to know what you guys think because my stuff's been going missing i've been losing everything and since this happened it's making me feel like something is stealing my stuff and i again i don't think that it's a negative entity or energy or anything maybe a relative or something that's just saying like i'm protecting you i'm here love ya 
just get that vibe but i was just so scared because in that moment i knew i wasn't alone and i think that's the scariest thing i was like am i gonna be touched i also think it's weird how the spider ran across because if it was anything else i wouldn't have cared but because it was a spider i was like i have to turn around right now and kill this thing and then i saw the crystals so Happy Halloween season, I guess. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. I mean, if I have any updates, I'll let you know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Last night we met at one, drink to two, dance to four, walk you home, wait till dawn.